Okay, now once you got UDK loaded up, we're going to go to Content Browser. And I've already made a package to place this stuff in. So, in my case, Shield Tutorial, Force Field. Uh, I'm going to click Import. And go to where my files are. Grab Hex, Shield Noise, Open, Group. I'm going to set to Textures. Name it. Hit OK. Um, but let's start. So we're going to make our material. You can uh, select the hex texture and do right click create new material. And make sure it's in the right package. And we're going to name the group materials. And call this mat field. Double click it to open it. Now if you notice, we'll move this uh, texture over. Actually out quite a good bit because we need a lot of room. And let's just uh, start with this piece. So. We'll take care of the uh, the color and shape first. We're going to need to add a one minus. So right click, math, and one minus. I'm going to plug this into there. And you can hold down M, left click to get a multiply. And right click. We want constants, new vertex color. Move this down a bit. We're gonna grab the uh, alpha channel from this, plug it into the multiply. Plug our one minus into it. Now we need to pull in the field noise. So let's go back to the content browser, go to textures, select your sh uh, shield noise. Back in the material, hold T and left click, and I'll pull in the texture sample. Now we're going to need a panner. I'm going to hold P, left click for the panner, and U and left click for texture coordinates. Now we're going to set our texture coordinates to 10 in both the U and V. We'll plug that into the coordinate of the panner. We're going to set our panner to 0 0.1 for both. Plug that here. And then this, I'm going to need an add. So hold A, click, and you'll get an add. Control and Alt, left click and drag to select all three of these. Control W. that vertex color down some. Now we're going to take the red channel of each of these and throw it into the add. Grab the panner of the new one and we're going to set this to negative 0.2 and we'll leave the other one as 0.1 and the uh, text coordinate we're going to set to 9-ish. Might have to come back in and adjust these settings later but this should give us a good place to start. So the next thing we need to do is actually zoom out and let's move all this over a bit more. We need to be able to add color information onto this. Actually grab the red channel from the initial texture sample and throw it in there. So we just need the grayscale of it. We're going to get all our colors from this next portion. So we can hold a V and left click and that'll get us a parameter uh, or a vector parameter which is going to end up giving us our color. Now we'll take that and a multiply and add the multiply from the first texture from the hex and plug that in with this color. Now for the color we're going to do 
point six six point eight nine four and point seven five. Now we can duplicate this and the multiply, hold control and left click on any node and you'll keep adding nodes. Control W, duplicate them. I'm going to grab the out from the add, plug that into the multiply. Grab this parameter and we're going to set this one to point one one six for the red, point one five for the green, one for the blue, and point three. We can also name these two color noise and the other one we're gonna name color hex. Ah, apparently we're going to have to redo the values again. It's point six six point eight nine four point seven five, And then we're going to do another add, A, left click. plug the out of this into emissive. Looks a little wonky at the moment, but it's because we need to make sure you click on the preview material. And we have to set this to additive and unlit. That didn't change too much, and that's because we don't have the opacity plugged in yet. Plus we also need to come up here and finish off the hex where we need another parameter or a panner, excuse me and we're going to set this one to negative point one in the x and that's it now we're going to add a sign so right click math new sign plug that into the coordinate and we're going to set the sign to f uh, period of four and now hold U, left click, and we'll get a texture coordinate. Plug that into your sign. You notice it's already starting to move. But we want to change this to negative 10 and 10. Now depending on how many times you uh, tiled out your base texture, you might end up wanting to adjust the numbers for the size of your hex. I don't think that's looking too bad like that. So we'll leave that as is for now.